Hi everyone, Kasia Zmokwa from Digital Art Classes here and today we will focus on copying adjustments with the adjustment clipboard. This is a super powerful feature in Capture One and it enables you to copy either adjustments from one tool or adjustments for the whole style from all the tools that were used to create particular style and with one click reapplying that style to one image or to even a set of images. So let's move into action and let me show you how you can do this in Capture One. Your adjustments, no matter if you are copying adjustments only for one tool or if you are copying the whole style, are always sitting inside your adjustments clipboard. So the clipboard can be found here in the adjustments tab and let's just pull out this tool because we will be using it. So let's just leave it here and first I am going to show you how to copy adjustments for the crop tool from my first selected image and one super important thing. Remember that whenever you are copying your adjustments you are always copying from the primary variant. So always select the image that you want to copy your adjustments from. This is crucial because if you select a wrong image you will copy either wrong adjustments or you won't copy anything. So the primary variant is always indicated by this white border. It is visible here in my viewer and the thicker white border is visible here in the browser as well around the thumbnail. So let's quickly go to the lens tab and here is the crop tool sitting. So to quickly apply the crop tool to the other images, they are all selected, they are displayed in the viewer. All I need to do is to just press on this second icon inside the crop tool, the copy adjustment icon. Once I click on this icon, I have pop-up window visible and here the adjustment that was applied is indicated. I want to confirm. So if I hit apply, the adjustment was automatically applied to all the selected images. Let's now take a look at a different scenario. Let's just quickly reset the crop from all my images. Let's just go here and that way I have the original ratio again. So let's now take a look at two different options that I have available. If we want to apply the adjustments for one tool immediately without looking at the pop-up, we can do so. All we need to do is to just use the modifier key shift. So if I press and hold shift and click on my copy adjustment icon, then the crop was applied immediately and I skipped the pop-up window. Let's again reset the crop adjustments from my three images. So let's just do this super quick here. And now let's say I want to copy my adjustment for the crop tool, but I don't want to apply it immediately. I don't want to apply it on the spot. I just want to keep it in my clipboard. And when I will be going through my session, I will decide then if I want to apply the crop or not. So I can do this by copying the adjustment to my clipboard. Keep your attention on the adjustment clipboard. Right now, nothing is visible here. Nothing is selected because there is no adjustment copied in the clipboard. So remember to select the primary variant and if I use the modifier key ALT and click on the copy adjustment icon, now the adjustment was copied to my clipboard and I have it visible here. So only this one adjustment for the one tool is visible. And now if I would like to apply crop to a specific image, let's say I want to apply crop to this image, I will select the image, I will switch off the edit selected and now I can just hit apply. So that way when you are copying adjustments only from one tool, you have three options. You can either hit the copy adjustment icon and this will copy adjustments from your image and apply to all the selected images. The second option gives you the possibility of skipping the pop-up window and the third option enables you to copy the adjustments from the tool to the adjustments clipboard. When we are talking about copying adjustments for one tool, I want to indicate one more thing. 
you can copy adjustments for one tool only from the background layer. So if I would like to, let's say, go to this layer, I have two more layers that are creating my style for this image. If I disable them, this is the image without these additional adjustments. So let's say if I would go for this layer style and here I was playing around with color. So if I go, for example, to the color balance tool and you can see that I have made some adjustments adjustments here, you can see that the copy adjustment arrow, the second icon is disabled. It is disabled because I'm not in the background layer. So just remember about this because it can be confusing at times if you want to copy something and simply it doesn't work. Copying adjustments for one tool includes the layers tool. So you can see that copying adjustments from one tool doesn't mean that you are copying adjustments only from one simple tool, such as crop tool, for example. You can copy adjustments from the layers tool and that way you will have all the adjustments applied that were included in your layers. So if I select my primary variant and let's say I will select this one and the second image. So now if I hit on the copy adjustment icon, now I have pop-up window and here I have my layers listed and I can choose which layer I want to copy to the other image. So if I, let's say, would like to copy only this layer, I can switch off the other one and only the layer that includes part of my color grading was copied to this image. OK, let's now reset adjustments for these three images and I will show you how to copy the whole style, how to copy adjustments for all the tools that were used to create the particular style from the primary variants to other images. So let's again select our four images and let's maybe copy adjustments from this one so we will have nothing in our adjustment clipboard. OK, so let's get back. Let's select the primary variant. And in this scenario, I want to copy the style that was created here with all the adjustments that were performed, including the background layer and other layers. So I have selected my primary variant and I want to copy the style to other images now this is different comparing to copying adjustments for one tool only. If you want to copy the style, you have to edit, select it. You have to enable this icon and that way the adjustments will be copied to all the selected images. So to copy the style is a very simple, it's a very straightforward operation. You just need to move over and select the first arrow pointing up. So that way you will copy the adjustment. This is the fastest way or you can go to the capture one menu bar and from here select adjustments and copy adjustments. As you can see, there is default keyboard shortcut assign, shift command C. So you can use the keyboard shortcut as well. So if I select copy adjustments, now you can see that in our adjustments clipboard, we have more options selected because all these options are creating my style. So I was working with color gray, I was working with color balance, I was working with few more tools and all these tools are creating the style and all of them are listed here. So this way I have copied the adjustments to the clipboard. Nothing was applied to the other images yet, but if I want to do so, all I need to do is to either hit this button here, apply. So that way the style including the crop was applied to all my images. Let's just reset this. So this is one way of applying the adjustments, the apply button inside the adjustments clipboard. But let's say you have your adjustments clipboard hidden. You don't need to use it. You don't need to see these layers. Let's say you are working with the adjustments and you are inside the exposure tab. You can either use the apply arrow here, the apply icon, or you can again go to the capture one menu bar and select from here apply adjustments, or you can use the keyboard shortcut shift command V. So if you select this option, all the adjustments, including the crop, were automatically applied to other images. So let's again reset the adjustment. And I want to show you one more thing that will include working with the adjustment clipboard. 
Let's now imagine a scenario when I want to apply the style that I have created for this image and reapply to all the other images, but I don't want to apply the crop. So how can I approach this? This can be done very easily. All I need to do is to go to my adjustment clipboard and from here I can deselect the crop. So my primary variant is selected. All the adjustments are visible here. And if I would like to skip any of the adjustments, for example, if I wouldn't like to apply the shadow recovery to other images, I can just switch it off here. So I'm going to switch off crop. And now if I hit the apply button, remember to have the edit selected feature enabled. So that way this will be applied to all the images that are visible in the viewer. So I have switched off the crop. I have removed it from my list in the adjustment clipboard. And now if I either hit apply here or if I use the arrow pointing down. So now the style was applied to our other images, everything, all the adjustments that are visible here, except the crop. And remember that in Capture One, we are working in a non-destructive way. So we have performed the first step. We have copied the style to other three images. Now we can tweak those images. The fact that we have copied the style doesn't mean that that style or those images are locked in any way. So if I go to this image and if I would like to have all of them consistent in terms of white balance, I can now tweak the white balance. So all these options are open. So including this feature in your workflow can be a really great time saver when you are working on similar images from the same session, but it can be really helpful when you want to experiment with different images. So let's say I have now images that were taken outdoor. I have some landscape images or some other portraits without going through all these steps that I have taken to create this style. With one click, I can reapply the entire style to a set of new images. This saves me tons of time and is super helpful when I'm setting an action plan for the edit and searching for creative ways to develop a new project. This was Kasia Zmokła from Digital Art Classes. Thanks for watching and see you by now.